Okay, so I I wanted to tell you what I've done yesterday because I haven't been like a really nice place since all of this things that happens worldwide and stuff. So I'm very very stressed for a lot of reasons. So to calm down yesterday, I decided to just do some random maths. So I got this book, Pure Mathematics. It's just a general textbook that follows on with like basic stuff on functions, vectors, geometry, trigonometry, algebra, matrices, permutations, combinations, series, probability calculus on this stuff and a lot of a lot of things like that. So I looked at the introduction and I just like went through a couple of these ones. So I looked at the number line that you speak over here, then inequalities on the other side, modulus sign, and I stopped the basic algebraic manipulation. So basically I wrote all of this bits just to all of this one and I've done a couple of notes and then I've done exercises a couple of them so I'm trying to do this just to like take my mind of everything that is happening so it's not like a proper lesson or anything it's just something that will help me relax basically so I thought I'm gonna try and film it today I don't know how it's gonna work and yeah, if you feel like you want to do any of this bit, just take a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil or whatever and do some questions with me or at the same time as me or in any way you feel like you can do it. So yeah, this is something that makes me feel very, very relaxed and I plan on going over as many questions as I can in a decent amount of time so yeah this is this is what I plan to do right now so I'm not sure if I will manage to do this every day but it's just basically because it relaxes me a lot and I don't know what else to do sometimes so I'm doing that Great, so the bit I want to do right now is basic algebraic manipulation. So I'm going to put the title. Okay, I'm going to underline this as a proper lovely pupil would do or student. Okay, and I'm going to go with the first bit that they have here. So they have examples and the next bit, which is exercise B over here, okay, is just re or revise basic algebraic processes. Okay, so we have a couple of examples. They kind of go on with, so I'm at example four. But I'm just going to write example. Did I put anything in front of it? I put dot. So go example. So what do we have here? Oh, this is a simplify bit. So let's put we are simplifying. So this is simplify. should be pretty straightforward. So what do I have? 12x plus 3y minus 4x. Oh, I know what they want. Okay, so I've got 12x's over here and I'm taking away 4x's on the other side. So that's 8x's and then I'm not doing anything with the 3y's. So that's it. Can do like a basic underline because I'm doing those two first. Great. And the B is 2CD squared minus 5CD squared again, plus 6D squared C plus 4C squared D. You need to be more careful because I have CD squared there, CD squared there. D squared C is the same thing, so it should be fine. 
So I've got 2 minus 5, that is negative 3, plus 6, that is 3, so that's 3cd squared, and then I'm left with just this one by itself, 4c squared d. Good, so that's one example. Another example. So this is expand and simplify, so we have brackets. Great. Got way more questions this time. This time around, I'm not sure if I want to do every single one though. A seems pretty basic. You know what? I quite like algebra, so let's just go with it. This is my favorite stuff, so should be fine. So I'm going with 5x times x, so 5x squared and 5x times. Okay, so going back to the questions because I had to take the phone call while I was doing, completely forgot. So, oh great, I'm multiplying over here the brackets. So I've got 5x and then x minus 7. So I did 5x times x, that's 5x squared. And then 5x times 7, that's minus 35x. That's the first one. Second one. Kind of lost the page. Okay, so 14. Okay, 14x minus 3. And I'm taking away 5x minus 9. Oh, this was one of the questions that I used to make so many mistakes at because of the minus over there. So 14x minus 14 times uh, 3. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I'm going to put it on this side, 3 times 4, that's 12, 3 times 1, that's 3, and the 1, 42, so take away 42, minus, and now I'm going to put a big bracket, multiply by 5, and then change the sign, so go 5x minus 45, so go 14x minus 42, minus 5x plus 45 and this way I do not make any mistakes I know I'm getting too excited for this so 14x minus 5x that's 9x minus 42 plus 45 that's adding a 3 so that's me done for B C 3x minus 2 5x plus 3. Okay. So it's this times the whole bracket and then the minus 2 times the whole bracket. So I can write that like that. I normally want like to do them all in one go, but I want to be extra today because we are not in a hurry. So that's basically what this brackets was all about. And now I can multiply. So go 15x squared plus 9x minus 10x minus 6. 15x squared plus no plus minus x minus 6. Done. We're making D. 2x plus 3 cubed. Now, this one. At one point in my life, I knew the whole formula. I think it was this cubed plus this cubed. And then there was a combination of the rest of the things, but I don't remember it. I can probably find it out. I do it on the side. I might do it on the side with a and b and see if i can figure out the formula after that but i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with the long version here so i'm gonna do 2x plus 3 and then 2x plus 3 squared because i know that one for sure and I, on the side i actually want to do this and see if i if i can get the formula so 2x plus 3 and this is 4x squared plus 2 times 2 that's 4 times 3 that's 12 12x plus 9 so this gives me 
8x cubed, 24x squared, 18x plus 12x squared, 36x plus 27. Okay, great. So we've got 8x cubed. So that's this one cubed. Then we've got 36x squared, which is what? Which is what? 3... Hmm, 36x squared. Is this one squared? Which is 4x squared times 3 times 9 times 3, maybe. I think it's this squared times 3 times 3 again. And then you got this squared times 3, so that's 27 times 2, 27 times 2, 40, 40, no, 54. Is that what we get when we add them up? 4, 54, x plus 27. So maybe I do actually remember the formula now that I've done it. So I'm gonna write it under and see if I'm right. So if I go, I'm not gonna write with that one, I can write with pink, because I feel like pink. For the formula should be fine. So I'm saying that if I have an A plus B cubed, this is A cubed plus three A squared B plus three a b squared plus b cubed am i right <laughs> so this got to be this one cubed which is 8x cubed and then three times the first one squared but this one squared gives me a four three times four that is 12 times 12 times three it is 36 and then is the x squared okay and then 3 times this, that gives me 6x, and then times the 3 squared. So 6 times 3, 54x, so that's this one. And then 3 cubed, which is 27. I think I got it right this time. Yes, I remember how to do this. Great, now I would do e, 3x and then x squared plus 4x minus 2 take away I missed the 3 3 x squared minus 5x great this one is actually easier so this is 3x cubed plus 12x squared minus 6x and then I do minus 3x squared plus 15x way easier so a 3x cubed plus 12 minus 3 that's plus 9x squared minus 6 plus 15 that is plus 9x oh, I mean meh did I call the right things oh I just figured out they actually have the answers over here I, should, I could have I could have checked before I went on to the next one okay fair enough good and then we have another example on um, this says factorize hip hip hooray i know quite a lot of methods to factorize a couple of these ones and i pretty i quite like all of them so i might do different bits for different questions it depends what they give me it's called 12x squared plus 8xy this is an easy one you go 12 and 8 the common factor for that one is 4 and then you go an x squared and an xy so you've gone an x now i have 12 divided by 4 that gives me 3 and i'm still left with an x and i do 8 divided by 4 that gives me 2 and i'm left with an y so the first one was easy second one x squared plus 2x minus 24 now this is one of my favorite ones because you can do it in a couple of ways you can just 
try and error, trial and error, but I think it's pretty important to know this bit. You have two brackets first of all, because it's an x squared over there. So I think that's pretty, pretty awesome to make the connection after you multiply the brackets over here that you will need two brackets for the x squared over there. And because it's just an x squared, both brackets need to start with x. So when you multiply them, you get the x squared. Now, over here, you need two numbers. So the two numbers will need to multiply to give you negative 24 and also add to give you two. Because when you multiply the brackets, if I go back to... Have I actually done just two brackets multiplied? Oh yeah, I've done it over here. When you go to... You do this one times this one and then this one times this one and they kind of cancel out so you see these two together. So that's why we're doing that. So I need two numbers that they add together to give me 2, but the same numbers multiply together, it gives me negative 24, so it's pretty obvious one of them has to be a negative number. And then I need to think what two numbers multiply to give me 24, so I can have quite a lot of them. So let, let's put some examples so you can get the idea, so 2 and 12, 8 and 3, 6, and 4, but I need one of them to be with a minus, so which one has a difference of 2, because that's what I need over there actually, so that's the negative 6 and 4. Okay, it's good, so I've got, do I need, oh no, see, made a mistake, negative 4 and 6. you need to add to get 2. Plus 6, take away 4, so that's one of them. Nice! Oh, I like this one. I like this one. How else can you do this one? Hmm. Maybe I can show the other method, but this one is a very, very long one. So we've got x squared plus 2x minus 24. It works better if you have a number in front over there. This is a long one, but I think for me, this one at one point in my life made a little bit more sense. So let's say I have the coefficients are 1, 2 and negative 24. So do 1 times negative 24. is negative 24 and then the 2 so I needed two numbers it kind of it kind of looks the same but when you get to a 2 in front sometimes it makes more sense so I need again the two numbers that multiply together to give me negative 24 and add to give me 2 so I would still go with negative 4 and 6 but the way I get the brackets will at least at one point in my life made a little bit more sense because I've got I got this one and then I'm looking at this the two x over there and I would think of it as a negative 4x plus a 6x because that's how we get how we get the plus 2 and this would make again a little bit more sense for me because it was the other way around of doing multiplying the brackets so this would be an x and then x minus 4 and this would be um, 6 and then an x minus 4 and then for me it would be pretty straightforward that it's x minus 4 x plus 6 so that was me going this way and then every time I was doing this I was going on with the x minus 4, x plus 6, and I would multiply them, so I would go the other way around and see if it made sense, so I would have this one times the whole bracket and I would have oh, I should have wrote them the other way around so that it makes more sense hmm. plus 6 minus 
so I will do x minus 4 plus 6x minus 4. So I would go exactly the same way but up again. And when I multiply this one, this would give me x squared minus 4x and this would give me 6x minus 24 and I will still go up one more and that gives me x squared plus 2x minus 24 oh, the two, minus 24 so now it kind of like made sense why I split these ones so I used to do quite a lot of questions like this one until I got the hang of it but I liked this whole idea of going up and down and then follow on with exactly the same steps to see that one is the opposite of the other one so yeah that's me when I had absolutely no idea how to do a couple of things and I needed more more stuff so I think this one where you have the coefficient at 2 will make a little bit more sense if I do the long way so let's let's play let's play so again, I do 2 times negative 6, that gives me negative 12, and then negative 1. So two numbers multiply together to give me negative 12, but add to give me negative 1, so negative 4 and 3. Negative 4 and 3? Yes. So I go 2x squared minus x minus 6. So split that one into negative 4x plus 3x minus 6. And then that's 2x for the first one, x minus 2, and that's a 3 for the second one, x minus 2 again. So we've got 2x plus 3, x minus 2. So yeah, that made a little bit more sense for me. So yeah, I think I'm going very slow with these questions, but they just make me feel so good. So 4x cubed minus 9x so 4 and 9 I can't do anything with them at this point but I do have x in there so I've got 4x squared minus 9 oh I like this one that's a difference of two squares over there that's a formula minus 3 and 2x plus 3 oh I like this formula so much it just it just felt so so magical like you got so many things that could happen over here but like magically they would like ca cancel out and give this like very short answer I was fascinated by that we'll be honest fascinated by this formula at one point so 3a plus 6 plus x a plus 2x so we've got 3 from the first once a plus 2 we've got x for the second ones a plus 2 and we've got 3 plus x and a plus 2 why is this one the e you felt like it should have been a bit harder but it's it's not really still going on with examples i feel like i'm spending a little bit more time on this than yesterday which is so good oh divide and they use the long method oh my goodness oh my goodness they've also done two methods wow i i haven't done this in such a long time such a long time Ooh. quite like it quite like it nice nice i i think i would i would have to think a little bit more about this one to do it like this divide nice so i need to divide 2x cubed minus 11x plus 6 by x minus 2 like it I like this one but I think I completely forgot how to do this hmm, I quite like how they give the two methods one of them is like a fraction 
and you write all of that. I like the fraction bit. I've never actually tried the fraction. But that's that's kind of the same as what I used to do. Hmm. Let's put like a method one, a method two. And if there's anything else that comes to my mind. But I don't I don't like it written like that the way they do it over there. I, I mean doesn't actually matter but I'm just used with them the other way around so I'm gonna do 2x cubed minus 11x plus 6 and I'm gonna divide that oh see I'm going with the ratio bit I'm gonna divide that by x minus 2 you can see at this point that I haven't actually done maths in English used to do it in, in Romanian so that was not that was not the divide I used to use at that point in my life do I have enough space? I don't have enough space to put this I'm gonna cross out I might use their method don't really like their method because it feels like whatever the kids are calling here like the bus stop and I never properly understood this whole idea of bus stop why is this in this way but okay so x minus 2 and I've got 2x cubed minus 11x plus 6 and I need to divide this oh ooh, ooh. let me see if I remember so I'm looking at the x first so I need to divide 2x cubed by x first and then see what I have and what happens with the 2 next so, yeah, I think that should be a 2x cubed. So then I'm doing this times all of that one. So that gives me 2x cubed. Oh, I said cubed, squared, sorry. And then this one times that one gives me a negative 4x squared. Okay. And then I subtract them so I don't get anything on this side. But then I've got minus 4x squared and I'm gonna copy what I have left so minus 11x plus 6 okay now I'm looking at negative 4x squared and my x over there so I should have negative 4x there so I am multiplying negative 4x squared Yeah, I am taking them away over here. I haven't actually said what I'm doing and I think I made a mistake when I took them away Because this should be a plus Half see you can see I haven't done this in a long time a plus um, What am I doing? Oh minus 8x So I've got nothing on this again. I am subtracting them but I've got 3 with a minus, minus 3x on that side, plus a 6. Okay, so that's a minus 3 there. So that's a minus 3x plus the 6. When I subtract them, I get 0, 0. So that is my answer. So when you do 2x cubed minus 11x plus 6 that is the same as x minus 2 multiplied by 2x squared plus 4x minus 3 so that's the first method awesome second method they do this fraction bit and I'm trying to I think I understand how they do it I might need to take a look at what they do over there while I do the question but did I get the same answer? Yes. Okay, so they do this fraction bit. I haven't actually seen this before, but it should be exactly the same idea. Should be a difference. And then, yes. So they look at the, oh, it's, it's yeah. Okay, got the idea. So. They're, they're doing the same like method if you think about like what I've done in my head like this is the x multiplied by what so then they go 2x squared that is x minus 2 and then they just 
And then they did what? What have they done? Because you have an extra information over here that you just added to the question. So when you multiply these ones, you get the same as that. But you also have an extra minus 4x squared. So you add the 4x squared, so you don't have it anymore. And then you put it over x minus 2. I feel like it's a little bit more writing than the other one. Is it? I don't know. And then you split it. This one fraction and this one fraction. So you've got 2x squared x minus 2 over x minus 2 plus 4x squared minus 11x plus 6 over x minus 2. So this one is pretty straightforward. It gives you 2x squared and then you look at this one and you follow on with exactly the same method. I've got 4x squared there. That is 2, no 2, that is 4x multiplied by x minus 2. But when I do this one, I've got an extra take away 8x, which I need to add the 8x after. So to still get exactly the same bit. So I've got 2x squared stays the same, then I split this one into 2. Plus, oh I can simplify this one, it gives me minus 3, minus 3x plus 6 over x minus 2. Okay, and this gives me 2x squared plus 4x. Plus, and this one on the top, if I need it to be the same, it would be minus 3 brackets x minus 2. Which in the end, I can squeeze it here. 2x squared plus 4x minus 3. I don't know. I don't know if I like this method. I feel like, I mean, it's kind of the same idea. It's not, it's not an issue, is it? I don't know. Is it an issue? Maybe it's not. Yeah, I think it's a good one. And then, oh, I want, I think I will do the next one. And then I will probably stop because I have been doing this for a while and I feel like I need to do something else with my life as well. It's still an example with the divide. It's still a divide, but it looks like they want, or they will, there will be a remainder, because it tells me, find the remainder. So, there should be. Oh, and this one, this one is way, way harder. So it looks really, if I copy the right bit, x squared, x squared. Ooh. Which is basically saying like, like looking at these ones, this is gonna be one times that one, plus is something else, which I think we can figure out straight away. But just using, by, by this, I don't know, by the sake of these two methods I've just done previously, I feel like I want to do the same idea I'm going to do with the first method. That's all I've got. Oh, it's a long one. Um, so I got x squared plus 3x there, and I've got x squared plus x minus 12 there. So first of all, it's pretty straightforward, it's supposed to be a 1 because there is nothing, nothing else you can do, so 1. And then you do 1 times this one, x squared plus x minus 12. And you subtract them. So you get nothing for this one, and you do 3x minus x, that gives you 2x, and you do nothing, which is 0 minus minus 12, so you get plus 12. And that's the remainder. So... In, in this case, I think it's pretty nice to write it like this. 
is 1 times x squared plus x minus 12 plus the 2x plus 12. So this is your quotient, that's your remainder. So yeah, and then they use the, the second method is the fraction one, which I think it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. It kind of follows on with the same bit. I've never used it before, so I have enough space. Not enough space here, so I'm going to write in the bottom. So it's pretty obvious the first one is 1 times x squared plus x minus 12. And now you see, you get some extra ones. So I've got the x squared, which is the same. And I've got an extra x, so I'm taking away the x. And then I've got an extra, um, an extra what, minus 12. So I'm adding the 12. And then I still have the 3x left from there. Everything over x squared plus x minus 12. So I've got this whole bit, 1, I think I went a little bit over, overboard with writing this fraction, so I could have just put 1. And then a plus, and here I have 2x plus 12 over x squared plus x minus 12. So this gives me 1 plus 2x plus 12 mm -hmm. over x squared plus x minus 12. So, yeah, my remainder is 2x plus 12. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the fraction. It makes sense. Like, it obviously makes sense in my head. But, yeah. It's, I, it's basically I'm not used to it. I quite like this method. I think I think I should know another method, but it just doesn't it doesn't pop in my mind right now, especially for this one. I don't know. Maybe I do know another one. Who knows? If 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 I remember anything by next time, I will just explain or do it straight on. So yeah, I don't think I've done more work than yesterday, but it's for sure taking me longer because they are all just examples. And it's one of my favorite topics, so for sure it made me feel a little bit more relaxed. So yeah, uh, just just let me know what you do to escape reality. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean. What do you do to not feel so stressed and yeah, forget about what's happening around you because sometimes it is a little bit too much and I feel like recently it has been too much for me so yeah just just let me know comment down below on anything like if you read anything if you watch any movies if you play any games if you if you i don't know any activities that you do maybe you're into some sort of online courses that they're really good just pop them in or like i don't know if you if you draw if you play an instrument i have no idea just just let me know what you do so to not feel so stressed and tensed and stuff so yeah i will probably go on with um example nine tomorrow i think so if you if you think this is a good idea and you would like for me to do more of these ones i know they're very long but if you feel like you want to just have a break generally just let me know and i will film more so yeah enjoy your day find something funny and interesting and exciting to just distract you from what's happening around and yeah stay safe and i will speak to you soon bye